Hey, today on Wicked Good Eats, <laughs> we're going to do a little fried mozzarella for Super Bowl. So, um, got a few of these nice um, pieces of um, black mozzarella I cut up about oh, a quarter inch thick or so. You're going to need some flour, some um, egg wash, and some breadcrumbs. And we got our deep fryer out. We're cooking up some chicken wings. So, we're gonna, as soon as those are done, we're going to do our fried mozz. Now, the trick to this is when you um, cook fried mozzarella, you don't want it to bleed in, bleed out of the, the, the breadcrumb crust. So, uh, what you end up doing is you double bread it. So, you put it in the flour, egg wash, bread, egg wash, and then bread again. And then uh, that should be it. Give it a nice thick coating of the breadcrumbs so it'll uh, hold the uh, cheese from bleeding out. So, we'll get started prepping this. And the first thing you want to do is just give a nice slice of mozzarella, a nice pot, uh, flour coating, let the excess dribble off, then with your dry hand, you want to put that on like such. Make sure you get the ends good. Okay. And then once that's on there, you want to go back in the egg wash, do a nice an additional dip. You don't have to do the flour again. Then you want to go back into the breadcrumbs and give those a nice extra thick coating. The reason this is a great question, and as you two know, being all time okay, receivers just put that in the plate, get it ready, and when it's ready to go in, we're going to repeat that for all four of these, and then we'll come back. There we go, Wolfie over here, waiting patiently. So here we do, we got our um, nice mozzarella double breaded up. So we're going to put this one in first, and just drop it in nice and light. And you can do maybe like two at a time. I do two at a time. And they only take like maybe a minute and a half or so. Just enough for that um, breadcrumbs to um, brown up. Because the, um, the heat from the fryer is going to soften up that mozzarella pretty, pretty quick. So we'll come back in about a minute and a half. And as soon as they start floating, they're pretty much done. Okay, it's been about uh, 45 seconds or so. You can see they're starting to float. They're starting to, so we'll give it another 45 seconds and they should be good to go. A little bit. This one, perfect. Put that in there. And we'll take our other two, drop those in. Like I said, about a minute and a half. And then we'll put some nice uh, tomato sauce over the top of these while they're nice and warm and start eating them. Okay, so we got our nice fried mozzarella. You can make these into sticks or blocks or whatever you want to do. Triangles. And I got a little um, gravy going here, so we're just going to kind of spoon that over the top. And you could put a little uh, Pecorino Romano out over that too if you want, but I like just the mozzarella. This nice sauce. You got that. And that nice hot sauce keeps that cheese nice and soft. And there you have it. Nice fried mozzarella with tomato gravy over the top. We're going to give uh, Wolfie a little taste once it cools just a little bit. Okay, Wolfie. Let's see if you like fried mozzarella. Sit. Stay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you like that cheese? Oh, he's going back for more. Mm, a little hot. Oh, he's digging it. He's digging it. That's a winner. Oh yeah, look at the plate. <laughs> that good, Wolfie? There you go, everybody. Fried mozzarella.
just in time for game day. Enjoy. Mmm. Oh, delicious.